What's up guys, Chooch back with another video. And today, we're looking at this right here. The MSX versus the Kingsong 16X. And so this is kind of what everybody wants to know. These are two of the best electric unicycles in the world right here on these, on these tables. And I'm gonna discuss which one you should get, why you should get it. Um, we're gonna go over a few things about range. We'll go over everything. So let's just hop right into it. I've been riding the Kingsong 16X a lot. Um, I got this wheel and I don't know, I've just been riding a lot, I've been doing a lot more riding than I have filming. Um, I, I got a lot of footage, but that 360 camera eats up SD cards, so I've just been going out and riding and having the best time of my life on this wheel. And this thing goes forever. This wheel, you can, I mean, I can get on this thing and it literally will go with me, with my weight, about 130 pounds, I can ride this thing like 75 miles on a charge. which. My Gotway, this is my Gotway M Super X 100 volt right here. And I can ride this thing roughly, I'd say, and I'm not even kidding you about this, riding it hard the way I do, this will only net me about 35 miles. I mean, in that, and because I'm cranking on it. If I'm conservative on my MSX, I can, I can, you know, I can go 20, whatever. I can really get a lot more miles out of it. But dude, a 100 volt wheel is just so much fun to get on this thing and fly everywhere. I mean, it, it's like a superpower. The 100 volt wheel is insane. Um, but this thing right here, one thing that people don't like about it is the speed throttling, like after 50% on it. But that, the reason, you can get so much range is because of the speed throttling on this wheel. Um, after 50%, this wheel, it, um, it does slow you down noticeably. It's gonna say, uh, please decelerate, or either if you have that disabled, it's gonna go like beep and lean you back a little bit. Um, and it's, it can get annoying and it can be a safety concern. Like, uh, I'll give y'all real world examples because I didn't record a ton of video. I can give y'all a lot of examples about what happened. One, this is a perfect example right here. I was going up a mountain pass, uh, got to the top fine, had plenty of battery getting up there, a lot of speed, and a lot of road bikers are riding up this road, you know, so going up, cars are really, you can only go up um, Saturday and Sunday, it's Four Mile Canyon um, in Colorado, and Saturday and Sunday the cars are extra cautious, I wear my reflective vest, everything like that, but on the way back down, uh, it was throttling my speed and so cars expect the bikes to be going just as fast as them on the way down You know, I mean because the bikes are cranking down that hill if you get free rolling on a road bike And you know what you're doing you can go easily 35 plus miles an hour But coming down I was getting speed throttled and that's one thing that was kind of concerning But that was after 45 miles of riding literally 45 miles of riding which most people never do and I never I, After that one day I never rode this more than 45 miles at a time, and so I never was speed throttled on it. Um, and, and that's like, I never, that was the one time I was speed throttled, and I was like, whoa, okay, so I can't really go that fast. But that's what makes you be able to get so much range out of it. Um, another thing I love is the speakers on this thing are great. I'm not gonna turn it on right now because it's in this thing and it's gonna take off through the wall or something. But the speakers on this thing are absolutely phenomenal. They are so loud, and it is an awesome safety feature. Uh, the speakers in, in the King Song 16X, I just put on some music, you know. I mean, if I'm riding around town, you put on some uh, just jazz or put on some like EDM music or something, you know, just something with a good beat to it where you're not, no cuss words or anything like that. But ride around and this thing lets people know. It even lets people, this is so loud, people that have their windows down in their cars at intersections will hear you coming just because of the speakers on this thing, which I think is awesome. And I mean, they're great. The bass is good in them. Uh, the lights on this thing are really cool. Uh, I mean, y'all saw that in the unboxing video. The lights on it. I mean, it's. I mean, they're, they're sick. Uh, the charging ports. You can you can charge fast with two ports in the back. I think that's awesome. Um, the new tire they're shipping with. My favorite thing about this wheel. I'm going to tell you right now. My absolute favorite thing about the King Song 16X itself is the tire on this thing. It is. It's the perfect tire right between the, it's what the Z10 tried to be, okay? So this, this tire still has a tube in it. The Z10 was tubeless. And the beauty with this is it's perfect. It's right there, it's not, not quite as thin as the MSX tire, and it's not quite as thick as the Z10 tire. And so you can really bounce curves, you can bounce over rocks, you can, you can take 
incredible terrain on this thing without ever worrying about denting your rim. So if you're running like if you're running a hefty air pressure in this thing, you can just tank potholes, tank bumps, everything like that, and you're not going to worry about denting your rim. You know, like it's like that. You never heard a story of someone denting a Z10 rim. If this if they did, I don't know what what happened, but. I mean, you're never going to dent a rim on this thing, and you can do a lot more with this and not worry about it. So, like, you saw a video of me just hitting hitting curbs and hitting stairs and stuff like that. That's because it's like you're on a balloon with this thing. It's awesome. I love the tire on this thing. It rides great off-road. It rides great on-road. Um, super squishy. It's like this wheel almost feels like it's a heavy wheel, but it almost feels like it has, like, shock absorbers in it because of that. I mean, that, that's a thick tire. I mean, that's thick, like... Let's see, like, boom, and then that's, look at that, that, you can see, like, holding it up to there, that's a substantial half inch thicker right here than this is, so, I mean, and, and it's like, way. I mean, it, the tire on this thing is just substantially different, that, when I first got on it, I was like, dude, this is a miniature Z10, I was like, yep, this is a mini Z10, that's exactly what it felt like, it literally felt just like the Z10 to me at, at first, but it was super nimble, and like you can spin on a dime, you can do the reverse tricks and all that one-footed stuff on this thing. Another thing I love about it, I'm going to get to the MSX in a second, I promise you. But another thing I do love about the Kingsong 16X is the peace of mind you know in your in the back of your mind in the back of your head about the axle stability of this thing. Uh, the the axle pillars on this, the axle pillar design, I mean. If this, you, you can't break it. I mean, I don't know if someone that's, at, that's managed to unhinge a King Song axle because of the axle pillar design. It literally uses two screws that go into the top. That The pillar comes up right here, and it uses two screws that go in straight through the top right there and bolts in securely. And the way the King Song works, it has a bolt that comes through the outside and it uses two shims that spread out like that. And... I, the whole method methodology around, around the uh, Gotway design, I think, I don't know if it's if it's if King Song patented their idea or what, but I really think Gotway should adopt their pillar design. I think out of all things, if it's possible, I think this should be the standard. And you can really, and you can know you can do drops and stuff. I would never, you know, the video where I was dropping off of uh, walls and stuff like that. You can't do that with like, I mean, with the MSX you can, with the M Super X you can, they really fix that, their shim designs are good, but like with the old M Super V3S, like the Tesla, stuff like that, doing, I mean, you're going to have to eventually tighten your axle, which is a total pain, that's one of the biggest pains in the world, and this right here, you aren't going to have to mess with that, like, um, your maintenance, I, I, I want to say, probably would be lower over time on the King Song compared to a gotway. That's not necessarily true all the time though. You never know what's going to happen. Anything can go wrong. Anything can change. But um, so getting to speed. Speed is, an, is one thing that is is highly sought after now. People don't want to slow electric unicycle anymore. Uh, and this is one of the fastest ones Gotway's put out. So this is if you I mean, this is one of the fastest one King Songs put out right here. The King Song 16X. And it, it accelerates quick, but it hits top speed quick. It accelerates really, really fast, okay? So a 16-inch wheel is going to accelerate faster than a 19-inch wheel. That being said, this wheel does hit top speed pretty quick, but 31 miles per hour, is, I mean, that's swift. I mean, there was really not many times where I was... The only times where I was really wanting more is when I was in a bike lane, you know, on a road or something like that, like on, in, on like a main road where they're like cars going 45 miles an hour and I'm trying to fly you know but other than that the speed I really didn't need any more speed on this thing and uh, I mean this thing the M Super X 100 volt you, you you have way more speed on this thing on the 100 volt MSX like at 31 miles an hour I mean you're just getting started on this thing at 31 miles an hour you can lean more and more and more and just take off like a uh, a superhero or something on the 100 volt MSX. Here, this kind of limits you speed wise for sure, and, and I, I think everybody kind of knows that. But the build quality on this thing is absolutely insane. I crashed it one one really really hard time. Um, one, I crashed it so hard it would have usually split the front right here. You know, like it, whenever you crash, like 
That's why I have all these cushions up here and stuff on this one because I crashed it and I did split the front right there. And it was a hard crash too, to split that. You have to really crash these gotways hard to split the front, but it, I mean, it's common. Everybody's gonna do it. Everybody, I mean, even the best riders are gonna have a day where you crash. But um, on this one, I, I crashed straight onto the front right here, but this thing is like, it's like, King Song really tanked up the front on this thing. Like you can, you can see, I mean, I'll even, bring y'all around to let y'all kind of see yeah i mean you can see right here they really tank the front on this thing up like it's just solid like i mean i even showed y'all earlier i mean i i hit hard on this i mean it was a 31 mile per hour crash straight onto the ground i was trail riding and i just lost it crashed really really hard and it's solid I mean, if you're just getting into electric unicycles and you want to if you want to top the line wheel if if you want something with speakers built into it if you want a really robust trolley handle if you want something that looks really futuristic um, robust shell and you aren't going for the absolute top speed you know if you aren't just com a complete speed demon and you just want complete um, pure performance I mean this is your speed demon this is I mean this I classify this as the race wheel I mean this this thing right here is just an absolute speed demon with 100 volt MSX is insane if you get the 100 volt MSX as your first wheel you are out of your mind I think because I mean you're really gonna hurt yourself if I were to get that wheel as my if I bought this as my first wheel I would have damn it I would have I would have never made it as far as I have in electric unicycles I would have gotten hurt the first week and I wouldn't have messed with it anymore so I think if you're getting into unicycles and you want the best of the best there is um, get this get this I mean you're not gonna this is fast it's really fast but you're not gonna completely destroy yourself getting getting this uh, the handle on this is way better. The uh, trolley handle is way better than the um, Gotway MSX handle, I think. And uh, just overall, I think this thing's sweet. You got blinkers on the back right here on the back, on the two back panels. So whenever you're leaning or whatever, this has blinkers as well. But these have separate blinkers, so you got blinkers on each side of this, which I think is really cool. And uh, I mean, it, it, you can't go wrong with this wheel. You can't go wrong as this being your first wheel. Um, on the other hand, if you want to get an MSX and you want it and you want that to be your, your first wheel, I suggest going for the 84 volt um, 1600 watt hour version, just because you'll get more riding time out of it and it's not going to be so just. I mean, this this thing's like a two stroke dirt bike. I mean, it's literally just snappy. You know, the 100 volt models are. So I suggest going for the 84 volt if it's your first wheel. But if you're trying to if you're been into unicycles for a while and you want to upgrade to the next best thing that's just going to blow your socks off and you haven't tried a 100 volt uh, electric unicycle um, and you want to treat yourself to something I, I definitely say go with the MSX um, it is insanely fast I mean there's if you're if you're about 130 pounds like I am this thing is just it's nuts I mean you can literally lean straight out like if you're in a hurricane or something and it just takes off and especially with these the power pads that I have on here that uh, Matthias Grant sent out to me. These things you can just grip on and just rip, and it is whoo, things fast. So I like the pedals too. I like the pedals on both wheels. This this the pedals on this one are large. They started making the pedals a lot bigger, which is I love. Uh, these feel really really good, really comfortable pedals. Um, they feel solid. These the pedals on the MSX. They have a good angle to them. They have a lot more of a steep angle on the MSX than this, even though these are the, the more angled pedals. So it's just kind of preference, you know, it's to a point of kind of what you want. Um, and you get used to it. So like after riding this wheel for a while and then hopping on my MSX the other day, the MSX felt weird. So it's just like whatever you ride, you'll get used to it. You know, you'll literally ride it for a little bit, get used to it. And that's just, I mean, that, that's what you'll be comfortable with. You know, I can ride this wheel for a week and then go try any other wheel and it'll feel weird. You know, even though I've put way many, way more miles on this than I have this, it's just kind of what you get used to, you know? And these pedals feel great to me. I, I love them. I love these pedals. I love the tire. I love everything about this wheel. I mean, I literally, this is this has become the daily driver right here for sure. This is just when I want to fly somewhere, you know, and just be ruthless and just, just take off and, <laughs> and just, like there's, you, you're a, 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 just a bat in the wind on this thing. It literally is crazy. But, I mean, there's a huge difference in speed in the two of these. You got to understand that. 
So at the end of the day too, so another thing to think about is charge times. Um, you can use the rapid charger, you know this rapid charger or whatever, you don't need two chargers with the um, M Super X. So you can literally plug that bad boy in and that, that rapid charger, it, I mean that thing is, it, it really rips. It has a, the fans built into it. It sounds like an airplane when that rapid charger is going on, but it charges your wheel really, really fast. Uh, with this, you, you have to plug in two, two of the simple chargers. I don't know if they really make, there actually is a rapid charging option. What you get, what you got to do is get, use the, the Gateway rapid charger and then there's like an extension you plug in for the King songs and then you can rapid charge your King song. So there is an option, but it doesn't come with it, you know? So that's one thing you got to think about when you're, when you're getting the 16X. It, this wheel does take a long time. When it's completely dead, it takes a long time to charge this wheel. Just because, I mean, you can go 75 miles on a charge, you know? So it's going to take a while for it to charge up. And another thing, the, the light on this thing is super bright. You can ride at nighttime. You don't even need a flashlight. With this wheel, with the 16X, you can you can ride at night. You don't need to take... I carry a light with me all the time, a super bright light. So if I'm stuck out, because I ride at night all the time, and I didn't even need this. Like if I left this at home or something, I would be fine on that. With this, this light's bright on the MSX, but it, it doesn't even do justice compared to the King Song. So all, all the, the technology features are just super updated on the King Song. I mean, just the, the speakers on it, the lights, the blinkers on the back of it, uh, the trolley handle on the top of it. I mean, the build quality, the, the shell build quality, that's all there. The only thing it's lacking is speed, you know? And, but they nailed it, the thing is, they nailed it in the range department, you know, there's no other wheel I have that'll go anywhere near as far as this King Soul 16X, and it's just because I think the speed throttling after 50%, yeah, I mean, I can ride motocross tracks, anything like that I want to, and I can ride to them, get there, and I'm not going to be speed throttled, but usually if I ride, play around for a little bit, and on the way back, when I get below 50%, you notice it, but you can go so far, once you're speed throttled on it, like you can go forever, you know, just because you're not sitting there like just eating the battery down. So it's like they kind of figured it out. So like that's how they, I, I think they justified the whole range thing on this thing uh, going, what did they say, 75 miles. I mean, that's how they justify it is because they do limit your speed. I mean, there, I don't know if there's any way to cut that off if you don't want to. I haven't heard of any way to do it, but uh, that's what it, I mean, that's what it does. And King Songs are noted. Usually safe. I know there's been cutoffs and stuff like that. I don't want to say that because, like, I mean, it was up until this wheel before they got that whole firmware thing figured out. I mean, King Songs have been the safest elect electric unicycles there is. I mean, you can't overpower them. They'll just lean you back if something. If you're going too fast, they've been the safest. But they just didn't figure it out with the whole firmware thing. People had cutoffs, crashes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this one's good to go. You know, it's updated firmware. New tire on this thing with these new pedals, I love it. I think it's, I think this wheel, you can't beat it. And if you're wanting to get into unicycles, I think this is a good starter wheel. I think you would love it if you have multiple wheels. Um, but if you want a fast wheel and if you're looking for the, I mean, just looking to be an absolute speed demon and you want a really high performance wheel, go for the 84 volt M Super X or go for the 100 volt M Super X. Both those wheels are going to be substantially faster than this. Um, it'll. The 84 volt M Super X is going to be roughly like six, seven miles an hour faster than this wheel. The 100 volt is going to be almost 10 miles an hour faster than this wheel. So you got to think about that. So I mean, that's a that's a lot. 10 miles an hour in an electric unicycle. I mean, I'm, I'm saying that conservatively. I mean, you can even go as far as saying like this is like 13 miles an hour faster, which is a whole lot. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, at the end of the day. Would I buy the King Song 16X? Yeah, I, I definitely. If you, you're out there considering it, I would definitely get it. I love this wheel. I love the music on it. Every this is my nighttime riding wheel for sure. Every time I go out and about, people love it. People love the music playing on it, the lights on it, everything like that. Yeah, I thought it was cheesy at first, but I mean, you pull up rocking some rock and roll, and you got the lights flaring on there, dude. It's like you're at a rock concert or something. It's awesome. Um, I, I'm enjoying it. I really love it. Um, I, I think. You can't beat either one of them, so I mean, it, both of them. If you get a thumbs up for me, no complaints. So, anyways, dude, it's been Chooch. That's kind of my review of the King Song 16X, and I just wanted to kind of do a comparison of the two. Uh, anyways, dudes, if you enjoy the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one.